Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today I am going to show you how to pull a 90 degree bend with a kick. Doing this technique will save you using a fitting here to go upwards. And also, because you've pulled a bend, there's less resistance on the pipe work. So it's all good, this. So let's do it. First, get some pipe. So measure from there to there to there, but add about 10%. Let's work out how much pipe we need. So, well, that is about 180. And from there to there, let's measure. And that is about 220. So that's about 400, 400 mil in this case. Plus we need to add probably 10% more to allow for the kick. So let's cut a piece of pipe 440 mil long in this particular case. What I then do is using an off cut, I put this into the fitting, so an off cut here like this. And I then work out Then work out how far the pipe goes into the fitting. So, so we know that the pipe goes all the way up to the pipe goes all the way up to this line. Right. So, I then place my pipe on the halfway point of this pipe, and I then mark the insertion depth, which is here. With them white wanted on it. All right, so what we do, you put your pipe into the pipe bender with the Cross the bits you've marked in the touching the stop side, and we then okay. So we then line up the that line's got to line up with that line. So we just wiggle that around a bit. So that's how it's going to look when it's bent round. So we take this away. The middle of your pipe needs to touch there, but we just overdo it or widget. it. Okay, so like that. we overdo it because it springs out a bit. So now the pipe with the cross or mark can pop into place and as you can see it's exactly the same height as the measured pipe. Right, so we want to bend the pipe like this and then it sits all the way around. All right. right. So what we need to do is we need to try and work out where the bend is going to go in here. So um, probably something like it doesn't look too close that way or too close that way. So probably about there. All right. So what we do, we put a bit of a mark here. Just a mark, that's just sort of, sort of where you want the bend to to be. I'll do an arrow. Just 
so it means I've got to bend that that way. Another useful thing about pipe bending is the bending part starts where the pipe sits deepest in the former. So let me show you. So if you draw a line here, all the way around it, like this, draw a line all the way around. All right, if you then take the pipe out, Okay, so this part here is where the actual bending process starts. So what you then do, you then put that back exactly where you found it, so like there, and you then draw a little, you draw a line there. So when you bend pipe, it actually all, the actual bending process starts to happen there. Notice the pipe is straight with the ruler until where the bending process starts. And what we also know is when we bend pipes, generally the center of the bend will be somewhere about there. This applies to small angles, which we are going to do. Right, so with our pipe, we need to bend this. We need to bend this this way. So when the pipe, so when the pipe bender, this is going to sit like this. Right, so we make sure that this pipe is going to be square. So, for example, that's not square. Right, what we then do, so we know that the bending process starts about here. So we want our line to be just to our line we drew. We want it to be just, so it's going to start there, the bending process. So we want it to be just in line. Okay, so let's put it all in right right what I'm going to suggest we do is if you mark here if you need to put it back into the bender you can put it back in exactly the same place right so we could just bend it gradually okay I've bent it just a little bit Alright, let's sort of see how it all looks. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. So it's not quite there. Okay, so we then repeat the procedure. We do it gradually. We never overbend it. I'll pop it back in the same place as before. So that line... So that line is lined up. And we then... We then just give it... A widget more. Okay, and repeat. So let's try it now. So what we do, put that in the bender, and as you can see, that is now lining up. If you then mark, you then put a mark where to cut the pipe, which is there. And cut the pipe. And you then place the pipe into situ. So one. Two. Okay. Right, another option, another sort of easier way to do this connection is you can use much better to have a coupling an elbow. And what we can do, like a small K 
kick, so I'm gonna put that in there. That. And then work out and draw your line on that one, which is. So you could use that technique, okay, but some of the disadvantages, you've got an extra joint, and because it's her elbow, there's more resistance in the radiator. Now you know how to do a 90 degree bend with a kick, it's your turn to have a go.